everybody, it's me again, and the end is near. Actually, the end of the year is what I mean, and the end of the decade. So it's a great time to reflect on the past on some of my favorite and personal best fish that I caught. But before I do that, I want to discuss another topic, which is, why do I fish? Do your friends or family ask you, why do you fish? Like, they don't understand? Sometimes I'm taken aback, I'm like, hmm, why do I fish? And I think it comes down to a few main reasons. One is, we men, or women, have these primal instinct to go out and provide for our family, try to catch uh, fish or food. I think that's one deep genetic thing within ourselves that uh, gives us that desire. Another reason is, personally I love trying to solve a puzzle. For me, I've been doing this for about 10 years now, fishing. The day I got that canoe, put uh, those two together, and it was like the perfect activity. This is fun. It's, it's, it's solving a puzzle. It's uh, something that I learned to do on my own and solve the puzzle on my own. Another reason I think fishing is, is fun to do because it's relaxing. Um, I just go to a body of water, be a part of nature, and just casting into this void of the depths of the water and just out of curiosity, see what you catch. Be outdoors, be a part of nature. It's just nothing better than that. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, share it with a friend or family member. That's right, Mochi. <laughs> and lastly, and simple enough, fishing is fun. That's all I can say. If you have any reasons why you like to fish, uh, please share them with me at the bottom of my page. Let me know. Anyway, on to my three top personal best slash favorite catches. One of them was at the Potomac River. The current was really strong. I mean, I had to fight it at certain points, especially in the middle part of the river. And I found this area that um, a bunch of other people were fishing. So when I got to this point, which seemed pretty deep, sometimes you could read the surface of the water, and it just was dark, dark water looking over the edge of the boat. It was like, this could be a spot where there's a drop-off. I casted different spinners and crankbaits. Nothing quite really worked. Then I said, okay, let me change it up. Let me try the drop shot. I like using circle type hooks and wacky rig hooks are nice and round. Circle hooks are safer for uh, fish to, uh, to bite on because they end up hooking themselves. I use this uh, drop shot weight, nice low profile. And I used worms, which worked pretty well, but also these natural colored gulp worms. This is really awesome. <laughs> yeah. I got it. Oh shoot. This is a six pound fish. Six pounder. Wow. 24 inches. Broke my personal, personal best. Is that awesome? Belly. Look at the belly. Ooh, he just bit down on my finger. Oh. I caught my personal best blue catfish. It was awesome. On to my next one. One of my favorite uh, trips was to California, and I had the goal to rent a kayak, paddle out to an area where there's a lot of kelp. Fish love to hide in kelp, so uh, California has the most amazing kelp beds off the shorelines. You can basically Google map, map them and you can see the kelp from space. My personal best and favorite fish that I caught in California, very different from East Coast saltwater fishing, is a ling cod. It looks like a monster. What I used to catch the ling cod 
was this uh, flathead shad. This is the packaging for it. And then this is the packaging for the Gary Yamamoto Custom Bait. Boot tails are awesome because they create a lot of action. And when you're retrieving, they swim like this. And the fish just love that action when they're passing through the kelp forest. <laughs> or maybe a link hot. Yeah. I'm gonna try to bring it in. Wow. That's a nice Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Six pounds. Look at the green tongue. Teeth. Everything. 24 and a half inches. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. And on to my last and favorite personal best catch is a small mouth. I went to this remote lake. I went very early in the spring season. Nobody was on the lake. It was just me, my boat, my rod. I casted out a wacky rig with a Kitec jig head hook. It's weedless, has this metal wire sticking out, steel wire. This is a yum dinger. Love yum dingers because they're so much more affordable than the Gary Yamamatos. I, I love this color too, very natural color, and it's two-toned, dark green and then a lighter green. So when you're just jigging it, the fish see the action. And I caught my personal best smallie with it. I mean, it was fat. Oh my god, it's a small. And that concludes some of my favorite catches, folks. I just want to say thank you for your support, thank you for watching, thank you for listening to me. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe, please like if you enjoyed this video. Hey, I hope you have a great decade ahead, many decades ahead of fishing, and I hope to share with you more videos about uh, fishing, the outdoors, canoeing, and whatever. Enjoy the outdoors, enjoy nature. Uh, take care of nature also while you're out there. Uh, every once in a while I see a trash here and there. I try to pick it up, put it in the garbage. Just try to be an, a good steward for nature. As you're enjoying it, give back to it also. Anyway, thanks for watching so much my video about why I fish and also three of my favorite personal best catches. And we'll see you next time. Take care.